Okay, here we are with Barry, the lead singer of uh, Abby and the Hot Ones. Hello. How are you? I'm good, yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to play tonight? Yes, oh yes. Yeah. You are touring now, yes? Uh, yeah, yeah, we've been, yeah, been on the road for about just over a week. And uh, yeah, we've got yeah, quite a long tour. And after uh, this oh, gig, where are you going? Um, um, Germany, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all over the place. It's a different country every day. Yeah, yeah. it's going go on the road. Yeah. The first question about Eddie and the other ones, about uh, your past and your history. You were born in uh, East Sex in uh, 1975. How was the musical uh, scene in Britain in that period? And uh, uh, which were the band that uh, had mostly influenced uh, your sound and uh, your first years of activity? Um, it was very quiet those days. There was only like the big bands and, and nothing. It was a very quiet thing. It was really hard work because it's a small town where we come from. But we persevered, we kept trying, and then there was a London pub rock circuit. You started to play in, in the pubs, yes? Yeah. And there was bands like uh, around yeah. local that yeah. they heard. There was Dr. Yeah. Fuel, yeah. Ducks Deluxe, Pansy yeah. Sports, people like that. Uh, I was listening to sort of basically 60s and music like that. A lot of, yeah, like Kinks, Who, yes. Yarbrough, Stones, and things. And um, I, I really wanted to you know, be in a band. And a couple of my mates and that, we got together. I put the band together. As I say, it was hard work, but there was there was nothing else to do, so we kept doing it and doing it, and eventually it worked. Why did you call your name uh, Eddie and the and the other ones? Because I read about Eddie, who was a uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what he was, um, we had a, a, a guy at the top, and I think he's original. He, he he liked the name Pop Lots, I liked it too. Uh, we wanted because we had a separate singer, and uh, the name Eddie came up because. Uh, it sounded good, it's like in old, old American cruising albums, a hero was always called Eddie, so we chose that name from there. Joe Strummer said that um, when he read about uh, your band in a listening magazine, it was the first time that uh, he seen the word punk used to describe the band. Yeah. Uh, which was for you punk and music and punk movement and um, how was to uh, play music in the that period, in the period of the uh, seventy-seven. Uh, how was the culture in England, and uh, it, it, it was something changing. In well, music we, are, and, uh, we started just before that. Uh, we were playing rock music yeah. that was faster and had lost. more a fashion thing and we weren't a fashion we were still going down so yeah. but yeah I mean everybody has to put a label on something so I did that mind. After your two story club Teenage Depression and Life on the Line which gave you uh, your first step races in the UK album charts like uh, Top of the Pops and other. In 1977 you added to Duramons uh, Dura and the Talking Heads yeah. And uh, you had uh, collaboration with the singer of the MC5. How yeah. was uh, to work with a, a band of uh, like this and a uh, band of uh, some musical uh, different genres, for example, like uh, Talking Heads and uh, Ramones? Great! Um, that was a really good tour that worked over uh, on the, in America and Europe uh, because all three bands, even though they were different, they, we attracted a similar sort of audience, so it was great. We were getting, you know, playing big gigs, and it was uh, it was really successful. And the Ramones and Talkingheads were all really lovely guys, so we all helped each other out and worked together. And it was um, there was a lot more camaraderie those days with bands. Bands these days they don't seem to sort of work together and things, but everyone helped each other out. It was good. It was good days. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, you have some um, about your future. Have you got some other pro pro projects? Are you uh, playing? Are you going to have another uh, album, for example? Yes, we go. We've just been talking about that. We're just going to do another studio album next. Yeah. Because um, mm -hmm. we've done a couple of live things, so we're going to do a studio now album next. 
Oh, well, uh, next year? Or yeah. Right? Oh, no, we're going to do it this year, but it won't oh, be okay. for next year's release. But um, that's good for the whole of the touring of next year. Um, because we want to condense it all, um, because I'll probably be moving to the States. So, well, I'll just be coming over to do tours. Instead of going away just for two days and things, we'll just have to do one English tour, one European tour, yeah, yeah, or yeah. two European tours, and <laughs> two American tours, or something like that. So, you t uh, in the last interview, you told us that uh, your brother has a house in Italy, yes. in, uh, near Pescara. Yes, right. Yeah. Uh, what, what is your, uh, what do you feel about Italy? You, you stayed in Italy uh, so much time. Oh, I love it. I really do. I love the warm weather for a start. Yeah. And it's, the, where his house is is in Prezzo. It's in the middle of a mountain, and it's so quiet. And it's a totally different extreme from being on the road and touring all the time. Yeah. So it's lovely to go there and have a break, you know, and rest. You still live in Essex now? I do at the moment, yeah. You love it? Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. But England's going a bit funny now. <laughs> so I'm going to New Jersey. Okay. Thank you very much for your time and uh, we hope you, you to, have, uh, to have a nice, uh, nice uh, night here and a nice night. Yeah, it'll be great. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So, can we make